Gamescom 2014 was once again a big success. And of course, there was a lot of interesting topics from Blue Byte as well. A big topic was the new The Settlers, Kingdoms of Antaria. For this, David of the Blue Byte team presented a detailed demo of the game, and he knew how to put the crowd in a good mood. Afterwards, you had the chance to write down your comments and requests for the game into our big book. In the business area, we met lead game designer Guido Schmidt for an interview in which he told us everything you need to know about the new The Settlers game. So since we are the most innovative settlers, uh, we have now a one persistent city. So it's uh, not like pre before where you build a new city over and over again. And this means that you also will create and uh, improve your city over the course of several weeks and even months. And this also led to the fact that we now added an extra layer of control to your economy so that you can uh, stay in control over your economy even when you come back like after two or three weeks. Since we are a true settlers game, we definitely have a very deep and rich economy. And this will start with easy production chains that just feature one resource deposit and a gatherer. Then an average sized production chain will grow up to nine buildings, for example. And then this will end in production chains that can reach up to 19 different buildings, plus the resource deposits. So there is lots and lots of possibilities for the player to, to optimize and improve his production and economy. We invent, uh, implemented the adventure mode uh, based uh, mostly on the feedback we got from the players where, we, where they always said that they didn't really like being pressured and uh, that they could be attacked in, while they were building up their city. So this is why we decided to remove the combat completely from the city and uh, implement this new feature of these expeditions, these ex adventures. So here the player can re really decide when he is ready to fight. So he can prepare and everything, he can pimp himself up like in the kingdom, prepare himself and then he can start an expedition when he feels ready. So the adventures are basically structured like a cooperative dungeon crawler. So you have a start point and you have an end point and in between you have enemies and loot. And then it is also for the player a strategic decision on what he brings to the adventure. Since we have different regions and different uh, tactical challenges the player will encounter, he really has to decide what kind of champions do I bring, what kind of army units and what kind of constructions and items so that uh, his chances are uh, high enough to beat all the challenges that he will encounter. Unlocking the champions works like unlocking every other building and this is based on the premise of renown since we have been sent here to the untamed lands to make a name for ourselves. We can also invest basically this and our name into uh, unlocking new technologies and also new champions from the High King's realm. The German closed beta will start at the 20th of uh, August and the international closed beta will start at the 16th of September. The Settlers Kingdoms of Antaria will be released later this year, so stay tuned for the latest news.